Welcome back, everyone. Glad to have you here today on our Total Wellness Tuesday episode, where we're going to be going over the two B vitamins, yes, two B vitamins that are going to be crucial for improving your overall skin and stopping acne. So whenever I talk about the topic of acne, and I have many podcasts on acne, so I'll do my best today with my team to link them up at stephencabral.com forward slash 22 93. That's stephencabral.com forward slash 2293. Uh, there's lots of topics around acne. I'm going over the two B vitamins today that are crucial for improving and stopping acne. So we'll go over those in just a moment. But one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this up is that uh, I've been getting a lot of questions on acne, adult acne, hormonal acne, gut-based acne. How do you know? Well, here's the thing is that if you are if you're dealing with acne and you are past your teenage years but even during your teenage years you need to be looking at three main factors first i'm not going in depth with them cuz today's show is actually about two b vitamins that when you're low in them it actually causes acne so it's a, it's a simple simple fix so that's why i want to give this to you here today on the show but you know if that doesn't do it honestly like good simple's fine but if that doesn't do it you have to look at gut function especially intestinal permeability so many people with parasites h pylori uh, SIBO or bacterial uh, dysbiosis and candida overgrowth, those are the four main gut issues. Um, they end up with what's called intestinal permeability. So when they're eating even normal foods or healthy foods, they start to seep through the gut wall and same with bacteria and pathogens in general. When that happens, they're in the bloodstream. We have to understand is that our skin is essentially the largest organ on our body. It's the largest excretory organ, it's called. That means it's a way to detox, right? So we have our liver, we have our kidneys, we have our lungs, we have our skin. So our skin is just a great way to push out, let's call it gunk, right, from inside of our bloodstream, all those toxins that shouldn't be there. So many people can end up with acne based on what they have going on inside of their body or leaky gut intestinal permeability. A second uh, factor to look at that's really, really important is hormonal imbalances. If you have higher levels of testosterone, if you have higher levels of estrogen, you could end up having acne as well. This is important to look at. I mean, you could put thyroid in the mix of that. Uh, you can, and, and thyroid could be a part of it, but we see all the time, especially with uh, women with PCOS, higher levels of testosterone, typically estrogen dominance as well. And yes, blood sugar can play a factor in, in all of those, especially with testosterone. Um, that uh, this is an important factor to look at. Because so I just again, I want to be honest with you of all of the different areas that you want to look at uh, for uh, acne. But the third area is food sensitivities. And this doesn't necessarily mean unhealthy foods, right? So a lot of people love dark chocolate, 70% plus, 80% plus. But chocolate for many people, again, Believe it or not, there are studies on this. I've gone over the studies on it. And some people, it can cause acne. Now, I also want to talk about, though, food sensitivities in general. Certain foods, eggs could cause acne in some people. Gluten could cause acne in some people. Not everyone. So that's why, like, when, uh, you know, when, when you read a study and like, oh, no, gluten doesn't cause acne. Sure, it doesn't cause acne in the majority of people, but it can in some. Right, and so that's why when these studies are done on twelve people, you're like, okay, you did a twelve, you did a study on twelve people over the course of like three weeks. All right, I mean, what is that really proving? But people will start to quote that. So again, I want you to use your own rotational based diet or IgG food sensitivity test. You can do the candida metabolic and vitamins test, stress hormone moods and metabolism test. These are all labs that we run in our practice. Remember, you never have to run any of the labs with us. You can run them with your naturopathic doctor or your integrative health practitioner. So always keep that in mind. But that's how you look at the gut. You look at the uh, hormones. So gut is the candida metabolic and vitamins test and or the bacteria and parasite stool test. The hormones is the stress mood and metabolism test, uh, which covers everything. And then the last one is the IgG food sensitivity test. So again, keep in mind, you can run that with anyone, but I want you to know what they look like because if you're really trying to get rid of acne or any underlying root cause, well, you want to know what those or any other symptom, you want to know what those underlying root causes are. But today's show is all about two B vitamins that if you're low in them, it could cause acne. And I think that's pretty remarkable because again, some people are just vitamin deficient. And the first one I want to go over is one that you may have heard of before for your blood sugar, 
but maybe you haven't heard of it for your skin. So you might have even heard about it for your hair. So biotin, biotin is a great B vitamin that can actually be beneficial for not just your hair and your nails and your blood sugar, but actually your skin as well. So there's some good studies. Again, I'm going to link them up here for you today. So if you go to stephencabral.com forward slash 2293, you will be able to see those studies. Now, the interesting thing I found about biotin, uh, obviously known for the hair, the skin, the nails, energy production, all of those uh, different things, but biotin is actually a sulfur-based um, well, I don't want to say that it's sulfur-based vitamin, but, but it is. It works in the sulfur-based pathways of the body. So it can actually help with a little bit of detoxification. So some people who take biotin can actually get a little bit of a detox effect first. They may actually get a little bit of acne to start. Now, that also goes by dosage. You don't want to overdo biotin, just like you don't want to overdo any vitamin at all. So what I wanted to share with you, though, about this, too, is that biotin is going to help with the overall strength of the skin, acne in general, and also the turnover, the rejuvenation of those skin-based cells. Nice little study I want to share with you uh, right here, too, is that a 12-week study uh, in adults with mild to moderate acne found that those who used both a topical cream, so in containing biotin, and oral supplemental vi uh, biotin, uh, experienced significant improvements based on overall acne. Now, another study just using biotin supplementation, this one was also a 12-week with mild to moderate acne, observed a significant reduction in inflamed lesions in those who, contain, who consumed biotin and another B vitamin, which I'm going to share with you in just one moment. The last study was that biotin in studies has been shown not just to help with acne, but also blackheads and whiteheads on the forehead and chin as well. So this goes for overall um, skin blemishes. The last study I'll share with you this too, is it helps with flaking and relieving irritation and red rashes, red flaky skin as well, mainly on the face, but it can go with anywhere on the body. So again, I, I mean, the remarkable studies 12 weeks is a good amount of time, certainly enough time to be able to see that uh, cell turnover. So I think that's pretty great. Now, what was this other vitamin that when paired with biotin made it even more beneficial? Well, the vitamin is called vitamin B5, panothenic acid. There's a couple of theories behind why this may work so well. So I'll give you that in just one moment. But panothenic acid, vitamin B5, uh, especially if you're an integrative health practitioner or, or if you've studied essentially the steroid, steroidal hormone pathways, you know that vitamin, vitamin B5 is extremely crucial for balancing overall hormones, balancing overall stress, making actually hormones in the body, starting with cholesterol and then pregnenolone and then moving over to estrogen, testosterone and progesterone and uh, cortisol as well. But uh, panathenic acid is also used for energy, transforming food into energy, and a lot of people say for the adrenals as well, because the adrenals essentially uh, help to manufacture a lot of the neurotransmitter and uh, glucocorticoid hormone-based energy for the body. So that's what it's always known for. So, But vitamin B5 also has been shown now to help with softer, smoother skin. And when it's paired with biotin, it may actually perform better in a number of people. And here is the reason why they found that to be. They, it is believed that taking larger amounts of biotin without the other B vitamins, and namely in this case, pentothenic acid, vitamin B5, has been shown to potentially deplete B5 when taking high dosages of biotin. So some people have gotten worse effects by taking larger amounts of biotin, maybe because of that CBS, and, and uh, that's a specific gene that we're talking about, and sulfur-based pathway. They may not be able to break down the sulfur as well. But when you're taking it with other methylated Bs, the methylated Bs are typically, when we refer to them, we're talking about B12 and folate, but also B6 is part of that. But it specifically depletes B5. And if we're depleting B5, then maybe 
we don't go to get the other benefits of that softer, smoother skin. And so we have studies actually that complement that, that actually share that as well. So I'm gonna link up those studies here specifically. Can you get all of these things through whole food? You can, yeah, there's no doubt about it. You can eat high biotin-based foods, high B vitamin-based foods, but what we like to do in our practice is not mega dose supplements. We don't mega dose any of our supplements. We actually just use with our wellness based clients uh, daily nutritional support. And then people who need a little extra biotin and all B vitamins, including the pentothenic acid, pentothenic acid uh, they can actually use an activated B complex at lunch and one at dinner, or even just one at lunch to start with if they'd like. For more energy, less brain fog, better skin, hair, nails, all of those things. But again, you can use any methylated B that you like along with with the biotin of your choice. So if you're working right now with a doctor or practitioner, you might bring it up to them and they might have a special recommendation for you as well. I like to use um, all of the B vitamins. I've stated this before together. The reason is that when you start to push too hard on one lever, it starts to deplete another. I've given examples of this in the past. I talk about this inside of our uh, IHP certification all the time. If you give too much zinc, it pushes down copper, all right? Now, you might want that because you might have a copper toxicity, right? If you give too much calcium, it pushes down magnesium. If you give too much magnesium over time, it pushes down calcium. If you give too much potassium, it pushes down sodium. If you give too much, if you have taken too much sodium, it depletes to potassium, right? All of these things work in conjunction with each other. They don't teach this in medical school. They don't teach this even in most, well, they don't, I know they don't teach it to uh, nutritionists. Uh, these are things that you can learn through nutritional biochemistry. You can learn it with uh, continuing education. There's no doubt about it. So I just wanted to share this with you here today. I know a lot of people deal with acne-based issues. Again, I'm not talking about like every once in a while acne. People get every once in a while acne because they eat a food that doesn't agree with them. Uh, digestion was a bit off. They, uh, you know, face accumulated a lot of dirt. They got uh, clogged up, you know, after a workout, didn't shower, whatever it might be. Every once in a while, acne happens. It happens to me. It happens to pretty much everybody I know. Uh, but if you are dealing with, you know, major acne or more acne than you would like, I would certainly look at uh, these B vitamins that I talked about here today, biotin and pentothenic acid, biotin being vitamin B7. You might see that on the back of a bottle. So it is B7. Um, and, and begin to just use a little bit of these. These are water soluble. Uh, you're not going to mega dose them. And if you get immediate benefits, well, then it could mean that you had a deficiency, a functional deficiency, not like a disease-based deficiency, but functional deficiency of biotin and or pentothenic acid. So hopefully this was helpful. Again, um, use this in conjunction with looking for all of your deficiencies or toxicities. And that is absolutely the way to be able to overcome any health issue that you come upon. So again, hopefully this was helpful. Always feel free to share it with anybody else you believe it could serve. And I'll be back tomorrow talking more health, wellness, anti-aging.